Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 where uh, we've already developed our object class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to develop the method that we want our object to do. So if you go into your maids.h, which is your header file here, you'll see that uh, we've got our... What's going on? We've got our uh, maids class developed there within the parent class of NS object. Now down below, in between the interface here and the end is where we're going to establish our method that we're just going to first put into place. So this method we're going to start it out by declaring it with a dash then we're going to put inside of our brackets void. By establishing our method with void now we're going to name our method and so in this case we could put anything um, your methods you want to you want to make sure that they're lowercase so let's just say our maid, one of its methods, one of her methods or his methods is going to be clean the kitchen. All right. So clean the kitchen, we're going to end that with a semicolon. And now we've established our uh, method. We haven't told like the, the method what it's going to do or the, the object what it's going to do. That's what we're going to do within the maids.n, the implementation. So we're going to copy this method header here and we're going to go over to the maids.m and again in between the implementation and the end here we're going to paste our method now the only difference is we're going to take out the semicolon and we're going to put a curly curly braces um, and this is where we're going to write the statement of the method that we just created for clean kitchen so now something that you guys know how to do is just basically throw out an ns log and show that statement. That's what we're going to do for this, just so you can see the, the, the general concepts for this. So, we are, when we tell our object to clean the kitchen, we want to throw out something. So, they're going to clean the kitchen. It's going to be like, dang, this grease is thick. All right, so all we're saying is when we call this method here, this log is gonna take place now if we hit run right now let's go ahead and run it you'll see that it's compiling nothing's actually gonna happen because this method hasn't been called anywhere we've basically only set it up within our objects class and we haven't called or we haven't uh, actually developed an object yet we've just developed the class for the object so what we're going to do now is go over to the main.m. So this is where your main program is. And because there's nothing within our auto release pool in the bracket in the brackets there, we have no statements or arguments or anything like that. That's why we didn't get any the program basically ran and it ended because there was nothing for it to run. So in between here, this is where we're going to uh, develop a new object and then we're going to tell that object to clean the kitchen, okay? So in doing so, we have to get we have to we have to pull basically this object class into our main thing here so before we can write any kind of statement and tell our object what to do we have to import that um, class into our main files here so we're gonna import now you see that we've got a less than and greater than sign is how we pulled in the foundation.h I'm screwing things up right now that's basically telling the less than and greater than sign is telling it that that's a system file. That's one that uh, comes standard with Xcode or has it's in our frameworks or in our products already. Now, when we put in a class that we've developed, we physically took and put a new file in there for maids.h and maids.am. We're going to put those in double quotes. So we're going to put in maids. We're going to basically going to import maids.h. Now you're probably wondering, should I go ahead and import maids.m? And you don't actually have to do that because we're going to import maids.h. Now if you go to maids.h, you'll see that uh, we've got our method. If you go to maids.m, you'll see that the, the implementation adder already pulls in the maids.h, the header file there. So basically the chain of events is we're going to import maids.h maids.m already imports maids.h so the compiler knows where to go from there so all we have to do is import the header file of our object class there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a new object 
an instance of our object class and we're gonna do that by first putting in our class which is maids then we're gonna point it to our new object so let's say our maid is named Susie so we're gonna create a new instance of our object uh, as Susie and then we're gonna set that equal to and in this case we've got to uh, we've got to allocate some memory so we're gonna tell our maids class to allocate some memory and also initialize all right so now we've developed an instance of our object because Susie's unique and she's she's coming over to clean her house she is a in an instance of our object class now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell Susie to clean the kitchen so in order to do that we're gonna put in our square bracket there we're gonna call Susie and we're gonna define what method we want her to do so we're gonna tell her to clean kitchen clean kitchen as we wrote it in the method in our implementation and we're gonna close that off and finish off with the semicolon so if we run this right now so we ran our, our file here and basically the output that we got is dang this grease is thick so she's cleaning the kitchen she's thinking in her head dang this this grease is thick these these boys don't know what they're doing here alright so okay so now we want to create another method that she's gonna she's gonna do for us and well not for us maybe she wants to give us a bill she she gets on clean and she's like I want to give these these fools a bill so we're gonna create another method and we're just gonna name this uh, billing and so we're gonna take this copy it bring it over to the implementation where we're gonna set it up delete the semicolon add this the, the uh, curly braces and this is where we're gonna tell or we're gonna define what the billing is so we could put in something like oh yeah um, she's gonna actually submit this mail it to our mailbox but in this case for uh, for starters purposes we're just gonna say um, the bill is a hundred dollars and we're just gonna log that within our log so we so we can see what, what's happening so now you probably think we can run it right now and we'll see the bill show up here but we haven't actually called this method anywhere so now we have to go back to our main.mr program and we are going to right below we're gonna define another method we're gonna call another method so we're gonna tell Susie to to uh, go ahead and bill us there alright so basically we've we've set up a new instance of our object who which is Susie and so we've called Susie and we've told her to clean the kitchen now we're gonna take Susie and we're gonna tell her to send the bill or do the billing alright so now we're actually calling that method which it should show up in our log now if we run it you'll see that we get one NS log dang this is grease is thick and then we also get a hundred dollars as our bill alright so that's kind of the generalized um, starting to the objects and you can see how we can define an object class then we can develop that object a unique instance of it which is in this case is Susie and then we can take our methods that we've developed and we can tell Susie or whoever whatever the instance of this object class is to actually execute those alright so hopefully you guys are just starting to grasp the concept of the object oriented programming again some of the more basic stuff we're going through right now we're gonna get into some sweet stuff coming up so uh, subscribe give us uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this and we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial